guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself laptop repair video today. Uh, what we have right here is an Asus Chromebook, and this is a fix for if your Asus Chromebook will not reset, uh, which is also known as power washing uh, with Chromebook. So this is if it you've tried to power wash, you've tried to reset, and it's not happening, what do you do? Um, so we're going to take you through three different ways of, of doing it. The, the first two are, are easy, and the third one will be the more... Um, involved option. So the first thing you want to do is uh, oftentimes, let me, let me turn this on for you, oftentimes you'll find the option online to uh, power wash or, or, or reset. You'll have to hit control, alt, shift, r all at once um, and, you, and you do that and you find it, it doesn't work. I'll show you. Control, alt, shift, r. Where is my r? I lost my r. Okay, there it is. It's all the way over here. Okay, so control alt shift R and nothing happens. So what we have found in the shop is while it says to hit all those at once, you have to hit them one at a time. Um, at the end, they'll all be pressed at once. So control alt shift R. As you can see, it, 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 it pops to the uh, reset screen. So that could be the easiest option. It, it, it's just a simple matter of how you're pressing your keys. So that's your first option, the easier one. We'll hit cancel and take you back to the screen. Now the other option to power wash or reset this, if that's not working, we're going to press the escape key. We're going to press the refresh key. It's that arrow that's in a loop. And then we're going to hold down the power button. We're going to hold all three down at the same time. The computer's going to turn off. We're going to keep holding them down. The computer's going to turn on and then we're going to let go. So escape, refresh, power. Let go. It comes up to this screen. So that method, uh, that key combo will take you to this screen. Uh, so right now we're going to pause showing you this method for a second. We're going to describe the third method to you because this is where the information is you need to do that third method. On the bottom of your screen you see a URL address. Um, that's the third method. You go onto another computer with a USB drive, um, a flash drive, and you type in that URL address. It'll take you to a location. You're going to select the option for um, operating system recovery or operating system reinstall. Uh, it will take you through a series of very user-friendly, very easy to follow prompts, and it will ask you for a code that's found underneath the URL. You enter that code in. It will download the recovery software, the install software, onto the flash drive. You then bring the flash drive over to this computer, plug it in, it'll do it by itself. You just follow the prompts, it, 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 it'll reinstall the operating system by itself. So that would be the third option. So to go back to what we're showing you, after hitting those three keys, you get this screen here. Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert a recovery USB or, or hard drive. At that point, you would hit Control D. Oops, where'd it go? Control D. To turn on verification off, Oh, I'm sorry, to turn OS verification off, press enter. We would press enter. It would start that process. And again, you just follow prompts. OS verification is off, press space to re-enable. Re OS verification is off, press enter to confirm. The system will now reboot. So that's your second option. So these are the other three ways if you're finding your computer is not resetting, not power washing. These were the three methods uh, that you can use to do that. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself laptop repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.